think that's where we even began the idea of agency through art for the, the subjects and then certainly agency through art for the reader. Yeah. Um, is that what poetry is for you? Tell me, what Definitely. is poetry to you? It's <laughs> You know, uh, poetry, I was, you know, I, well, I went to college, I was going to be a uh, social worker. And I think um, I was, uh, I was going to, I was got a degree in public policy. Um, I had been kind of uh, convinced that literature was not going to be the way. <laughs> and, but, and I also, uh, I, I, I thought that it was going to be more, um, serve my community more mm. by, you know, being in a, yeah, and, but but you know that takes a certain level of patience. I just don't have. It's me, hundred percent. Okay, uh, I I wish I did, uh, but uh, but I don't have that that kind of. It takes a, a special kind of person, special kind of skill set to really do that mm. well and effectively. And I found that it was not making me happy, mm. and I was not serving the job that I had mm -hmm. well. So, um, after a few attempts at that, you know, um, I turned back to poetry and what I found was that, uh, you know, I, I took a step towards writing and it took two steps towards me. Mm. And that's, that's essentially, that essentially helped me make up my mind. I felt like, well, if this, if this is what I'm here to do, then that's what I'm here to do. Right, right. So poetry is what you're here to do? Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like it, you know? <laughs> I love also that the man who figures out how to write a poem so that it can move in five different directions thinks he doesn't have patience. <laughs> <laughs> because I know you didn't do that in one try. No, that's obsession. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just straight, complete, you know, obsession. <laughs>